check this out. It's the Elgato prompter and I love it, but I also really hated it until I found a free tool that fixes the main problem I have with it. And based on the comments that I've seen from users on other review videos, a lot of people have the same problem that I do. All right, so from a hardware perspective, this is nearly perfect. It's definitely worth the $280 price tag thanks to the integrated screen and ease of use. If you're working on YouTube, go buy it now and then come back. But the software, oh man, where do I begin? It's fantastic for setting up the prompter, but when it comes to actually using the teleprompter, it makes it so hard to use that I was about to put this thing in the box and ship it back. And then I found the free tool that I'm going to show you. I'm not going to go too in-depth on the Elgato prompter. There are plenty of videos about its features, and if you're watching this, you probably already know about all of those. But let's do a quick overview. The prompter itself is genius. The built-in display eliminates the need to use a separate device like a phone or a tablet to display your text. Basically, Elgato took the high-end teleprompters that are used in television production and just shrank them down into a size that's perfect for YouTube creators. But you need to buy the Steam Deck or the Steam Deck pedal to really get the most out of this prompter. Actually, you need to buy those in order to just use this prompter like you would any other teleprompter. Why would you need a Steam Deck or a pedal, you might ask? That's a great question. Unlike every other teleprompter app out there in the world, you cannot scroll up and down through the text without those tools. No keyboard controls, no Bluetooth remote control, only the Steam Deck or the Steam Deck pedal. There was absolutely no way I was gonna shell out another $100 on top of what I paid for the teleprompter just to get it to work like a teleprompter. So I found a solution and I wanna share that solution with you. It's a free website that offers a better software experience than the prompter software does. In fact, it's a better software experience than any of the prompter software I've ever used. All right, so what's the problem with the prompter software? Well, for live streaming, Camera Hub is great, but the name really says why it's not ideal for teleprompters. It's software designed to run a camera, not software designed to run a teleprompter. Camera Hub doesn't let you easily navigate your script. You can jump between chapters, but you have to manually tag a paragraph as a chapter in the software. You can't scroll between sentences or paragraphs unless you spend money on the hardware, and suddenly a $300 teleprompter is a $400 teleprompter. Right as I was packing the prompter up to go back, I was doing some Google searching and I found a free web-based tool called SpeakFlow. And when you use SpeakFlow as the software and prompter as the hardware, now you have a perfect solution. SpeakFlow runs in any browser. I'm running it in Safari right now on my Mac laptop connected to the prompter. To make this work, you simply run prompter as a second display instead of a teleprompter. Then you go to the SpeakFlow site and you drag your browser window to the prompter display. That's it. You can use the SpeakFlow software like a normal teleprompter, automatically running the script at whatever speed you want. You can manually control it with a mouse or a Bluetooth remote, which is really handy for giving presentations. But the main reason it's called SpeakFlow is that it can use speech recognition to automatically scroll as you speak. I'm gonna jump back a little bit and show you how this works. You can use it like normal teleprompter software with it automatically running the script at whatever speed you want. You can manually control it with a mouse or a Bluetooth remote, which is handy for giving presentations. You don't have to worry about setting a speed for the teleprompter crawl. I always make a mistake here where I start off with the setting too slow and then I talk faster than the crawl is going, or then I try and speed it up a little bit and suddenly I'm trying to keep up with the text as it goes by. With a speech-based teleprompter, you don't have to worry about setting a speed for the prompter. You can slow down, you can speed up, it follows your pace. You can also edit the text right in SpeakFlow. There's an AI tool that also gives you suggestions to improve your scripts, although it's in beta and it's not great yet. I'd rather use ChatGPT for that. You can change the font size, the margin size, so that your eyes remain pointed right at the display. SpeakFlow also has a pro plan, but most people won't need these features because they're designed for collaborative work. Like I mentioned before, you can run Windows behind SpeakFlow, so if you're giving a presentation on something like Zoom or another presentation tool, you can see your text while you're looking at the thumbnails of the people you're talking to. You can use voice commands to move up and down through your script, and you can record with ScreenFlow so that if you're using ScreenFlow on something like just an iPad or something like that, you can use the camera built into the device to record your presentation and then share it with somebody later. So there you have it. It's a free piece of software that saved my prompter from going back in the box or worse, saved it from me hitting it with a hammer. Do you use a teleprompter? Let me know which one you use in the comments below, or if you're shopping for one, let me know. I'd like to hear what you're using it for. For Dave Tries This, I'm David, and as always, thanks for giving this a try.